Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor Channel. Y'all, I am just chilling. It is a beautiful day in North Carolina. We're kind of in the Mebane area of North Carolina. Basically, we're in the country. We live in a very small town. It is beautiful. And I wanted to bring the Afrocentric home decor from inside to outside. I hope you can hear the water. I hope you can see it. There's actually fish in that pond, y'all. There's actually beautiful fish in the pond. And maybe after we're done, we'll walk over there and you can see it a little closer. They have actually barbecue pits out here. Yes, I'm a vegan, so I guess, you know, I could maybe barbecue some or, or roast some vegetables, but it's such a lovely environment. And it's part of the kind of building, I say, or complex that we live in. And so we are here and we are enjoying it. As you see, I am sipping my coconut. And mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. My coconut water, which keeps you really hydrated, has a lot of electrolytes, and it is so absolutely delicious. I actually prefer coconut water out of the coconut. Tell me what about you. If you ever drank co coconut water, do you like the canned coconut water, or do you enjoy it just like this? If you've never had it like this, you might want it, okay? So today is, as you saw the title, it is Six Tips to Having an Afrocentric Home Decor for beginners, six tips to have an Afrocentric home decor home <laughs> for beginners. And I thought, you know, I want to start them off so that they don't feel so overwhelmed or think they have to go out and purchase a whole bunch of things to start off with. And so I thought, I sat and I thought about six things that I can tell you right now. So um, as you see, if you can see, I don't know, we'll see if you can see. I just brought out a little infused strawberry water. Good. I put a little bass, a little, uh, some flowers for color. I brought out my nice, you know, I mean, it's a batik. You can say wall hanging. Some of y'all call it a tablecloth. Hey, you can use it for many things. And that's what's so beautiful about Afrocentric items is that they are very multi-purpose. I actually picked these up actually the other day from Hobby Lobby. It's a set of four and they're coasters. And I think this is so Afrocentric home decor. You know I love baskets or trays. And so this one also was from Hobby Lobby. This was $24.99. And I just kind of want you to know the things that I have. I'll be doing an official haul, but today let's get into it. So I'm gonna drink this. Take a sip, and we're going to get into it. So, now, I want you, I say tip number one is bring yourself into your decor. Bring yourself into your decor. What does that mean? It doesn't just mean bring yourself, meaning pictures of yourself or your spouse together, your husband, or pictures of your family, which is so very important. I call that part of being black. Every black home that I've ever been in, they have pictures on the wall, on a mantle, pictures on a dresser, pictures somewhere. So that is a start to me of, of how to bring in yourself. But most of us, and a lot of us, stop right there. So I want to talk about how you can bring yourself into your decor in a different way. Now, I notice a lot of ladies are doing things which I think is a great idea. I just, I'm, I'm concerned about the images. They'll go online and they'll get an image of Coco Chanel or the Chanel bottle, or maybe they'll get an image even of a painting by Picasso or Rembrandt. And I hope that Rembrandt is a real European artist because I don't really know, but my husband says yes, so I'm going to go there. And what I'm saying to you is, first of all, what has Coco Chanel ever done for you? Um, and there's nothing about that brand that even relates to you in any way. And so if you want to go online and print images and then frame them, there's beautiful images of African women, African family life, African spouses. There's beautiful pictures that you could actually have, or even African words. You could do the indinkra symbols. The indinkra symbols are absolutely wonderful. So y'all excuse the noise, we are outside as well. You can do the indinkra symbols you, um, um, from Ghana that means different like peace or love or beauty or harmony or union. So you want to make it make sense for you. You want to make it make sense for you. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on upstairs so that we can make sure we go on with this. But So you want to make it make sense for you. So that's bringing in yourself. Not Coco Chanel, not Picasso, not Rembrandt. You could even do a print of uh, 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 Bearden. Oh, Bearden. What's this? Romare. Romare Bearden. Or you could do one of um, 
Jacob Lawrence, or you could do one of Cynthia St. James. I mean, if you're going to go get prints off the computer, it's not actually a bad idea. And I'm going to show you about that and, and how to bring that into your life and actually, you know, frame those kind of things. And I'm going to get into more about something that my husband did and does, and it's something very simple and easy, you know, and we'll talk about that more stuff. So it's very important to bring yourself into your decor. But I know why when you see one person doing the Coco Chanel and the bottle of Coco Chanel and the Coco Chanel sayings or the this or that, it's because monkey see, monkey do. So we're gonna, that brings me to tip number one. Don't follow trends, create them. Don't follow trends, create them. My mother told me that my mother was a fashion designer and she taught, she, she used that metaphor or she used that, that saying as a way to, to, of life. Don't follow anybody. Don't always create the things. Let people follow you. So don't be a follower. So in other words, um, like the, the trend that is driving me kind of nuts is pineapple, pineapple trays, pineapple this, and pineapple pictures, and pineapple pineapples. It's not that I have anything against pineapples. I'm a vegan raw foodist. I absolutely love pineapples. But it's almost like you got to be careful because you might not really be into pineapples, but because you see it all the time, you think you want it. I see this next new trend. It's the pink flamingos. So now everybody's home has pink flamingos. I am not criticizing other home decor channels. I'm saying to you that don't fall for the okie doke, which brings me to my num the next one. Tip number three, don't fall for the okie doke. Now media is very suggestive. It actually creates, it, it throws out subliminal messages so that you, and it says, basically it's saying, you like me, buy me, pineapple, pineapple. If you see it enough, you'll start believing you like it. Okay, I'm gonna ask y'all, y'all can leave and drop your comments in the description box. How many of you have heard a song that you could not stand when you first heard it, and after hearing it over and over and over again, you thought you liked that song? You don't like that song. You just, it's, it's the subliminal, it's the getting into the consciousness. So a lot of times, you don't know your style, so you take somebody else's style that really doesn't bring anything to your life. And the thing is, you wind up buying all the trendy things that actually, guess what? When they go out of style and you know all that is true, when they go out of style, you do not want them anymore. So you got a bunch of stuff that's gonna go to the landfill or maybe you'll give it to somebody else and then you'll follow the next trend. You don't, in a way, I'm not gonna say in a way, let me tell you how you might not want that and a better thing that you can do instead of following the trend and then getting tied up with some style and then giving it away. This brings me to tip number four. Buy the things that you want to keep for life. So, y'all, yeah, let me go, because it's definitely warm out here. Buy the things that you want to keep for life. Buy objects and things that actually are classic. Classic, everything African is classic. It survived hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. To, and so, of course, they are classic pieces. They have meaning. They, 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 were, they meant something to the people that made them and brought them. They have uh, spiritual meanings. They promote stuff like fertility or beauty or prosperity or abundance. These are the kind of things that you want inside your home. And so I say, like, um, buy things that you want in your life. African art. It's a great investment. Uh, jewelry even, this will never go out of style. This cowrie shell necklace, my husband actually bought it from me, from one of our African vendors, and this will never go out of style. It's a classic piece. Uh, clothing that remains classic. Even this, y'all, every time I pull out this, this fan, somebody goes, oh my God, where did you get it? Another classic pieces, pieces that you wanna keep forever. Number five says, Start small. Start small is very important. So cut out magazine clippings or magazine images. My husband was very good at this. He, um, he told me that in the beginning when he couldn't afford the more African statues, figurines, uh, art pieces, he would take 
<laughs> things that he liked. We liked things like from Afro Sheen, you, if y'all remember, and Ebony, and even I think Essence, but definitely Ebony, they would have these Afro Sheen advertisements. And it would be the brothers and sisters with the beautiful froze, you know, looking gorgeous. He would take those, and I'll, give, I'll show you some examples in the home. We're gonna actually take this inside, and I'm gonna give you examples of all the tips that I gave you, so the visual examples, and he would get those on poster board. And so there's a one, you can do that inexpensively. You could even take a favorite movies that we actually, my husband has done, and you could take the movie poster and then you can have it put on a poster board and you can create Afrocentric decor that way. So you can, and if you're really in a pinch, you could take out the picture literally from the magazine, get a nice push pin and put it on your wall. It could be that simple. So think about that as well. And my last tip is work with what you already have. So let's say that you say, Sister Lisa Marie, my budget is, I don't, I, I, it's a no budget. I don't have a budget. There is no money. So work with what you have. Maybe you, you, maybe you had an African book, or maybe you have Essence magazines, or maybe you have Ebony, or maybe you have things in your home. Like we have a couple of African design books, African design fashion books. Why don't, you can actually display those books in a way and they become your Afrocentric home decor. Maybe you even have books that you, you know, novels. Maybe you have books by Langston Hughes, like The Ways of White Folks. Or maybe you have books by, you know, The Souls on Ice. Or books about black poets or, or, or dancers or singers. Those are actually part of your decor. And you can set up those books in a way that promotes a, a black, beautiful home. You know, it's so important for us to understand that we should not be in our, we should not not be in our space. I mean, if you go to a person who is white, they have, they should have Picasso. They should have Rembrandt. They should have that. They should have Coco Chanel. You know, you go to an Asian's house, they have art that represents them. You go to Latino's house, they have art that creates or represents them. So it's nothing wrong with representing yourself in your home because it actually, it uplifts you. It makes you feel good about yourself. If you have children that are suffering from low self-esteem, that may not like their natural hair, or maybe it's you that might be suffering from that low self-esteem, having pictures and figurines and things of people that don't look like you, that is not gonna be helpful. So you want to promote yourself in your home. And so this is the other ways to do it. So you could actually do furniture that could be Afrocentric, and I'll tell you about that. You could buy cloths from the flea market, Afrocentric cloth. Because I say Afrocentric, a lot of cloth, or a lot of prints on cloths, they're African patterns, but they're reproduced. A lot of them made in China, but it's still a start. Or you could get real cloth from lots of boutiques that I'll be sharing with you on this channel. And so remember I said start out small. Also starting out small could be African dolls. I pick them up flea markets. I don't think I pay $5, $10. So they're inexpensive. So let's go over it again before we go into the next, into the house and I can show you the visual tip, these tips in the visual form. Let me just go over the tips again. Tip number one was bring yourself into your decor. You can do that by, you know, going on the internet, finding a print, going to the Dollar Tree, buying a, ch a cheap frame, and printing it, and putting it on your wall. You can use things like Indinkra symbols, you can look it up. You can use things like prints from some of our greatest African or black artists. You can, whatever you want, even sayings that are proverbs. So people, I know people like to put sayings, or they buy the sayings. They like to put those on there in like a frame. I think that's a wonderful thing. There are so many numerous African proverbs that you could actually put in a frame. Tip number two is don't follow trends, create them. I can't, I my husband was like, cause I said, oh no, the pineapple, the pineapple is everywhere. He's like, what is this thing with the pineapple? Is it the new thing? I was like, yes, it is the new thing. And now it's flamingos, baby. I just want you to know, he'll start seeing flamingos all in the thing. It's like, wow. And it's the way people jump on it. And I noticed that they don't like it. They don't like the bling anymore. They don't, they literally got to give it away, throw it out, no. The other thing is don't fall for the okie doke 
Don't fall for the okie doke. The okie doke is the media suggesting subliminal message, buy me, buy me, I'm trendy, I'm in, have me. No, buy classic pieces, which brings us to number four. Buy the things that you want for life. My husband is very good at this. He will not buy anything that he doesn't love. In other words, meaning that he would not keep forever. So things like this fan, things like this necklace, things like this blanket or this cover or this wall hanging. You know, African things tend to be very multi-purpose. I would keep this for life, even something as, as simple as a coaster things you want to keep for life. So the other thing is African art. I said jewelry, clothing, all of that. I say start small. Something I read, start small. Cut out magazines, like we talked about the Afro Sheen magazines. Cut out posters from movies or buy posters from movies that you love and put them on poster board. Another thing is, of course I said African dolls. And I was thinking of something else. Even the, the tip, easiest way, African music. The vibration, that will get you in the mood and you'll start feeling like, wow, you know, I really want this African home. So African music would help. And number six is what would which work with what you already have. Maybe you have African dolls, maybe you have furniture, maybe you have books. Like I said, I'm talking about African books or Afrocentric books. There's a plethora of books made by, by black authors with beautiful covers, even album covers. You could actually take an album cover and that you love, his albums that nobody plays anymore, with some bad, ad, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> some bad stuff on the album cover, and you could actually frame the cover, or you could just put it up just the way it is. And so this brings us to our sixth um, tip. And so what I'm gonna do now, besides get this water, because it feels so good, is I'm gonna have my husband just take it off of the uh, tripod, the, the thing, and I just wanna show y'all a little closely the beautiful water and the flow of the water. So come with me, y'all. So y'all, another thing too is the feeling of Afrocentricity. I feel like African people are nature people. African people understood the, the, the connection between you and the trees, you and the stars, you and the moon, you and the sun. So get some sun, bring yourself into yourself. Like this, what I'm wearing today, this will be worn out all day long. This is not a costume. It's who and what I am. And so I hope that you have enjoyed this. Do y'all see the fish in the pond? Isn't that stunning? And the beautiful flowers in the pond and the waterfall. So we are loving it, we are enjoying it. This is a public space, so we're going to go back in and after I met my husband and I sit down for a while, but, and I wanted to stay tuned for In the Home where I give you visual examples of everything that I just said. Six tips for beginners to Afrocentric your home. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy. Nope, sorry, of the Afrocentric Home Decor. You know I got two channels, so work with me, and I'll see you in a minute. Peace and blessings.